Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm sharing with you four more viral TikTok crockpot meals that were super easy to throw together. These are dump and go crockpot meals for the most part, meaning you just dump them in the crockpot, let them cook all day, and you're good to go. You can eat it later. All of this was really simple and easy. All of them turned out really good too, especially the bacon wrapped chicken with brown sugar, three ingredients amazing absolute perfection so i hope that y'all enjoy give this video a thumbs up if you are new and if you like it subscribe and i will see y'all after the video okay guys so the first recipe was one of the best ones it is a viral tater tot potato soup that i found on tiktok it's a lazy way to make potato soup. So all you're gonna do is use one entire bag of tater tots and you're doing about two cups of chicken broth. So I try to use like three fourths of this big container. And then you're gonna do one can of cream of chicken soup and one onion. And you're gonna let this cook for a couple of hours on high and you're gonna add cream cheese and a little bit more broth to it. And that's essentially it. It turned out really great. And it's a fast way to cook potato soup if you don't have potatoes or if you don't like peeling them and things like that. So if you find this recipe on TikTok, you're actually supposed to like kind of puree the soup mixture, but we did not and it was fine. If you're somebody that does not like texture, um, then maybe you should puree it, but we did not and nobody complained in my family. So I am just going to cut up some green onions. We like this with our potato soup. Some of my kids do not, so I just don't give it to them, but um, my oldest two like them on their potato soup. So we're doing bacon bits, shredded cheese, and green onion, and also gonna have it with some saltines. Okay, so for this recipe, it is a dessert and it turned out so good. I was really impressed, but you're gonna make sure that you need to get two cans of cinnamon rolls. I made the mistake of only getting one. I don't know why I thought one would be enough, but I had to run to the store in between filming this and get more. Um, so you're just gonna cut them all into fourths and make sure to spray the crock pot first with some nonstick spray. Put the cinnamon rolls down in the bottom in one even layer, and then I cut up one Granny Smith apple. So this is my smaller crock pot. 
and it was perfect. If you were going to use a big crock pot, I would probably double, probably double everything. So I'm just cutting this apple into small little pieces. I'm not a big fan of peeling at all, but I could not taste, like feel the texture of the peeling once it was cooked. So then you're going to put a layer of apples over this and then you're gonna make a mixture of vanilla so I just eyeballed a little bit and cinnamon and then I did three eggs and then about a half a cup of milk maybe it was a cup I'm not somebody that measures things but I will put the exact measurements down below in the description box if you are somebody that likes that and then you're just going to pour this mixture over the cinnamon rolls and then put one more layer of cinnamon rolls. And then you're going to cover it with sweetened condensed milk. And that is just the best part to it. And then let this cook for a couple of hours. And then we're going to just put the icing on top when it's done. The icing that comes with the cinnamon rolls. We're gonna cook this on low. I'm super excited about it. I hope that it doesn't burn. I'm just gonna watch it though for a couple hours. All right, y'all, so today is one of those days where I don't want to cook. I don't want to do anything. I just want to order pizza. The baby has been sick. He was up so much. Last night, took him to the doctor. They think he has, like, strep. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't think babies could get strep, but, you know. We're gonna try what they suggested because he's just been sick so much and hopefully it works. So, I am doing something so simple in the crock pot, okay? Three ingredients. By the way, I really hope that y'all like these crock pot meals. Um, they have been saving me, absolutely saving me. So, for this um, meal, you need bacon, boneless skinless chicken thighs and brown sugar so my plan is to um we're gonna wrap the chicken thighs in bacon top it with brown sugar and cook it and then tonight we're gonna eat with vegetables um potatoes like a typical meat carbs and veggie meal maybe some toast but one of my followers um suggested this to me and she cooks really healthy and does some good stuff so i'm gonna try this out
I got this picture in my closet. It's gathering dust right now. And the edges have been folded once or twice. It doesn't look the same no more. Cause the sun has made it pale. I used to have it hanging on my wall some time ago. All right, this is done, and it looks so good. Okay, my husband is definitely gonna come home and think that I'm amazing. This looks awesome. Okay, so for seasoning, I'm kind of just like making my own chili seasoning. I'm doing cumin. <laughs> oregano. <laughs> garlic powder. Again, I'm not eyeballing any. I'm not measuring anything. <laughs> chili powder. <laughs> And then I'm going to do salt and pepper. Alright, we're going to do a large can of diced tomatoes and then a can of black beans. I'm going to drain it. So personally, this chili is a little more tomato-y than I normally make it, but it's like a viral video, so I wanted to give it a try. Um, I'm cooking two pounds of lean ground beef right now. We're gonna cook it on high for a few hours and try it out. It looked good on the TikTok, but we'll see. It's actually like a tiny bit pink. Um, but I'm gonna see if like I can just stir it in and like it cook the rest of the way. So we're gonna see how this turns out because again, it's a little tomato. -y. Okay, thank you. All right, y'all. It looks good, actually. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope y'all enjoyed these. These were so great for my family. Stay tuned. I'm going to have a couple of vlogs coming up in the next week and another cooking video. This is going to be dump and go casserole.
style dishes, which is really fun and easy for us to make at home as well. So I will see y'all next time. Bye everybody.